We begin tonight with breaking news in Lake Elsinore, where we have just learned a Riverside County Sheriff's deputy shot and killed in the line of duty. Well, this is KCAL News 8 o'clock streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Hi everyone, I'm Susie Sa. The shooting happened just before five this evening. Scott Cal was over the scene a short time later. The suspect was taken into custody. Uh, right now, investigators are on the scene in the 18,500 block of Hilldale Lane. We're told the wounded deputy was rushed to Inland Valley Medical Center in Wildemar. We do have live team coverage. Let's begin with KCAL News Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock live at the hospital in Wildemar. Nicole. Yeah, you guys, just about an hour ago, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department posted on Twitter saying that deputy was in serious condition, which we were hoping meant that he would have been able to survive his injuries. But as soon as we got out here to the hospital, we could see dozens more officers and deputies starting to show up out here with lights and sirens blazing behind our live truck getting out to this location. So we were wondering if things had taken a turn for the worse. And just a couple of minutes ago, Sheriff Chad Bianco did confirm that that deputy died in the line of duty this evening. Here's a photo that they shared of him with the sheriff. They say his name is Deputy Darnell Calhoun and that he was killed out there in Lake Elsinore earlier this evening. Now, if you take a look at this first video here at Inland Valley Medical Center in Wildemar, that deputy was rushed here into the ER shortly after 430 tonight. Sources told us that deputy was taken into emergency surgery and suffered gunshot wounds to the torso and the leg and that their family, his family, I should say, was here by his side, hoping for him to survive. But again, the sheriff's department just confirmed that he did, in fact, lose his life in this incident earlier this evening. If you take a look at this next video, here's a look at where the deputy was shot somewhere near this home on Hilldale, Hilldale Lane in Lake Elsinore, which is just about seven miles away from the hospital here. The sheriff's department has not confirmed exactly what happened yet between that deputy and the person who shot at them, but we were overhead as the SWAT team later cleared the home. We're told that the suspect is in custody. Now, once again, if you come back out here live, this is hitting the department extremely hard tonight, especially considering that it was only two weeks ago that a different Riverside County Sheriff's deputy, Deputy Isaiah Cordero, was also shot and killed in the line of duty. In that case, it happened in Haruba Valley, again, not too far away from this location. So everyone out here, it's definitely weighing on them much more heavily tonight, having lost to that young deputy and then losing another one out here this evening. We're told that Sheriff Chad Bianco, who we just saw showing up out here about 10 or 15 minutes ago, will be giving us a press conference update at 9 o'clock tonight. So we'll bring you any new developments as soon as we get them. For now, reporting live in Wildemar, I'm Nicole Comstock. KCAL News. All right, Nicole, thank you very much. And as we've been showing you, investigators still at the shooting scene in Lake Elsinore tonight. Our Desmond Shaw live in Sky Cal with the latest. Des? Uh, Jeff and Susie, it was going to be a very long investigation uh, anyway, but especially now that sadly that deputy has been killed in this incident, whatever it was, as Nicole was just saying, we are still yet to learn what led up to this tragic chain of events. But the presence of this armored vehicle, this Bearcat situation, tells me that this was something that was going on for quite some time today. This was not a very quick uh, chain of events that happened uh, earlier today in the Lake Elsnore area. We're off the southwest corner of Lake Elsnore in what they call the Lakeland Village community. And I'll show you on our Sky Tracker the area exactly that we're talking about here, this residential area on Hilldale Lane and Fairmont Lane. Grand Avenue there to the right has reopened, uh, at least partially. That had been shut down earlier this evening. Uh, we expect that there will be a procession later on this evening at some point from Inland, Inland Valley Medical Center to the coroner's office in Paris. Uh, so sadly, twice in two weeks, as Nicole was saying, uh, Riverside County Sheriff's deputies will be conducting a procession for one of their own tonight. Live in Sky, uh, Sky Cal overhead, I'm Desmond Shaw. Back to you now at the, des the, at the studio. All right, thanks, Desmond. I'm Mike Hi. Rogers here at the desk. Uh, we're also following developments here. I want to take you straight to my screen. Riverside Sheriff just released a, ta a statement rather, on Twitter saying, quote, we are devastated to the announce the passing of Deputy Darnell Calhoun, who was killed in the line of duty this afternoon. You see that uh, picture there with uh, Sheriff Chad Bianco. Now, I want to elaborate a little bit on what Desmond was saying earlier about the scene. Uh, it was a long scene. It wasn't something that happened quick, we don't believe. If we can go to the video from the scene there, I want to point out there are fire engines, ambulances, uh, and the tactical team all down there. 
This was a, a roughly two hours after the initial call for service came out, whatever brought them to this home. So there was a large tactical scene. Desmond was able to speak with the sheriff's helicopter uh, kind of as it was unfolding. And even though the suspect had gone to the hospital, it still took them quite some time to be able to clear the scene. Uh, you can see they were even in backyards there, uh, clearing the house to make sure there was no other threat. These homes out there are a little large. Now, on our assignment desk, we did call some neighbors who live in the area. Uh, the one woman we were able to speak with told us that she didn't hear anything, didn't know what was going on. All of a sudden, deputies just swarmed the neighborhood, and she was told to stay inside. Now, uh, I'm sure there will be some video. The Riverside Sheriff's deputies do wear body camera. And this is from the hospital. I want to show you. This is the patrol car that we believe uh, took the deputy to the hospital. Oftentimes, when deputies are injured in the line of duty, they won't wait for an ambulance. They'll just throw them in the back of a car and take them to the hospital, specifically in this case because the hospital was only a few minutes away from the scene. Uh, and even though it's the only trauma center in the region, unfortunately, he was beyond medical help uh, when he got to the hospital. And now we know that he passed away. So we're going to keep monitoring the situation. We have reached out to um, some city council people, the mayor in Lake Elsinore, to try to get some statements from them and try to figure out everything that went on in this. And as Nicole was mentioning, this is the second time in two weeks they've had a deputy die in the line of duty. And last time, Sheriff Chad Bianco was very critical of the justice system during uh, the, the proceedings, the court proceedings of that last suspect, saying he shouldn't have been out on the street when it happened. Uh, so we'll wait and see if any of that plays true in this situation as well. Jeff and Susie.